Hi everyone, this video is kind of a little bit of a review of the add-on mesh, mesh machine, specifically the latest release uh, 0.6, because it has a plugs feature and that is really awesome and I wanted to show you how I've been uh, working with it and what I like about it. Um, so Mesh Machine is not a free add-on, but it's absolutely worth it uh, for advanced users who do mainly modeling uh, and work with normals and stuff like that. So I'm not going to do a super in-depth comprehensive review uh, of, of this uh, add-on because it's too big and um, the creator uh, machine, he's, he has a YouTube channel where he has in-depth uh, video tutorials on how to use his tools, um, which cover pretty much everything. So. I wanted to show you something cool, uh, how, I, how I've recently used the plugs feature. Uh, so this is a mesh that's kind of supposed to be something like a, a tentacle um, mesh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some, um, some plugs to make this tentacle more interesting. And then I'm going to pose it on a curve. So I'm, I think there's already a modifier on it. Yeah, there we go. So I have a, a mirror modifier and uh, there is already a curve modifier and the curve, I don't really have it. I don't know where the curve is exactly. Ah, oh, here's the curve. Um, is it hidden maybe? Let me see. Yeah, it's hidden. So let me just bring up the curve a bit. Um, there we go. Like that. And maybe we can also put it here. Okay, cool. So I'm going to uh, apply the, the mirror modifier and I'm going to delete this mirror modifier and I'm going to keep the curve modifier, but I'm going to hide it. Um, and then I'm going to maybe move this or I'm going to hide the curve itself as well. Okay. So I have my mesh machine set up um, to use the F key. Um, for the the plug features and the stashing and stuff like that, and um, you can I can also access it through the W key uh, if in edit mode uh, over here, mesh machine. So I want to specifically talk about the the plugs uh, and show you how I use it on something like this. So uh, let's see how do we go about this. So the first thing that I want to do that I usually do is um, I stash the um the the mesh and it might already have some stashes uh, although it doesn't look like it it has so let me stash it and what the stashing allows you to do is it allows you to um kind of fix the normals once you mess around with the mesh and i'll show you show you how that works in in a bit um and it also allows you to do a bunch of other stuff uh, so let's start adding some some plugs so I'm going to um, press the F key in object mode and I'm going to go to my plug libraries and I created this organic library which has a bunch of uh, kind of unique plugs that I made um, for a little project. Uh, so let me start off by maybe um, selecting this one which is like a suction, uh, organic suction cup. So I'm going to click on that and then I am going to hold control and I'm going to press G and hold control and I'm just going to resize it. And this just allows me to snap to the mesh wherever I want. So I'm going to scale it up a little bit like this, rotate and maybe uh, I'll put it right here. Okay. So then I'm going to, or maybe let me move it up a little bit more over here. So now I'm uh, shift clicking on the mesh going into the plug menu and I'm gonna press plug so now all of a sudden it became it edited, it edited the mesh to um, basically merge with it so if I go to my F6 menu uh, I see I have a bunch of options here um, let me press show wire so you see what it did to the wireframe so probably want to clean this up a little bit or you can mess around with uh, contain um, and like I said, if you go to Machines YouTube channel, you can 
have an in-depth explanation of all of these settings and a lot more. Um, so, but my suggestion is that you just mess around with it, that you just create some plugs and try different setups and uh, that's the best way to learn this kind of stuff. So I, I don't really need to use um, the deformer or I don't think I need to use deformation because it's kind of a flat surface. Uh, and I'm just going to ignore the, um, the, the geometry that's a bit screwed up because this is, is not going to be a subdiv mesh. Um, so one thing that is worth it is depending on how you've um, created the plug and how much of a perimeter you have on the plug, you might want to tweak the, the offset of your perimeter um, to see how it merges with the, the, the other geometry. And you can also tweak the rotation of the mesh, but you should know that when you do that, you do have to reapply the, the, the normal transfer. Oh, I went a little bit too far here, I think. Uh, let's do zero. There we go. And um, so to illustrate the normal stuff, and if I undo the wire, you see that there's some issues with the, the normal, although it's very hard to see because it's a flat surface here. You'll see it later. So you can, uh, oh, let me undo this, the plug. And I'll reapply it. There we go. So if you press normal transfer, you see it cleans up the normals because it's what it's doing is it's using the stash that I stashed um, from this mesh and and applying the normals from the original stash to this um, the outer uh, the normals where it's merging the, the faces where it's merging with the, the, the new mesh. Um, and you can do that manually as well. I'll do it manually on, on the, the next one. So I'm going to again create uh, the same plug. So I'm just going to press the plus. And you see now it's uh, retained the the scale that I've done on the previous one, which is pretty cool. So let me just place it here. And before I merge everything, I'm just going to place a bunch and then I'm going to merge them all. Um, so, but I'm going to press my cursor here and um, there we go like that maybe here I'll scale it up a little bit more even and we'll place it here to see how that resolves uh, the mesh and then again and this one a bit smaller again and maybe two more These are plugs that I made myself and it's really easy to make these plugs uh, once you've seen how to do it in the tutorial videos. Okay, I think that's that's fine like this. So now I'm just gonna select the perimeter and the mesh and plug. And here I'm just going to um, disable normal transfer and then we'll get back to that one later. So I'll do the same here, plug. And oh, that's, this is a good example here, I think. Uh, and then plug, and now I'm just gonna re-enable re normal transfer. Plug. And last one, plug. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at what's going on with this one here. And to better see, let's turn on mat caps and I'm going to choose the, uh, the usual this one so you see the normals get kind of screwed here and I wonder how it's gonna do uh, on on these so I think also here the normals are a bit screwed so in mesh machine so I'm gonna go into edit mode and I'm gonna go to mesh machine and select V select and what it okay it didn't do anything let me try that again mesh machine select okay there we go I think it was because I had something selected so if I scroll my mouse now I'm basically scrolling through the different plugs so I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna I don't know if you can see I'm gonna press uh, s to select um, 
right so okay let me check this so if i toggle s it's individual and toggle all is a i am pressing a sorry my bad so i'm pressing individual so I, because i just want this one and then i left click and now i have all of these faces selected so now what i can do is i can again go into mesh machine and i can click on normals and transfer and you see what it's doing here is it's taking these white lines or the white wireframe is actually the stashed mesh and you see it's already resolved these normals here um, so there's a bunch of options you have here i'm just gonna leave it at at the how it is right now and left click and then we can do the same here so i'm gonna go again into uh, v select and where is v select uh, mesh machine v select and this time i am going to select all and then again normal uh, transfer and see it didn't resolve these that great because of the way that the geometry is is laid out um, so what we can what we can do is we can either ignore it because maybe it's not such a big deal or we can actually maybe um, connect these and add a little bit more geometry and see if that maybe resolves the the issue uh, i'm just going to go into face mode and select all these faces there we go and see how that works oh my bad uh, normal transfer and i think it did a little bit better um, we still got something here so maybe if i select if i merge these as well uh, we can i think we can keep those so i think this is where we had the the issue still and transfer yeah it's not 100% resolved but I think if I would clean up the the topology a little bit more it would it would get resolved same here um, so but it, I think it's fine for what I'm what I'm after right now so I have this uh, this mesh now and um, let me just go back to shaded view so let's add some more plugs or first let's check how that looks with the the curve so that looks pretty cool i think um and if i go to wireframe you see of course if i subdivide this mesh it actually works pretty well um but this this pipeline is not really set up to for subdiv uh modeling although you know you can get around it and you can subdivide of course um, but I, I, I built it to not have to be subdivided. Okay, so then let's add some, some of the other plugs on there. Um, so I'm gonna put my cursor here and let's, so if I click on this and I have a few other ones, uh, I'm gonna maybe use this one, this blister. So I've sped up this part of the video a bit, but basically I'm using a bunch of other uh, organic plugs that I made uh, specifically like blisters kind of just spheres and uh, I'm placing those on the the outside part of the the tentacle and I'm just like this one I'm putting in a little bit of a precarious position just to see how the geometry resolves itself once it's plugged so this is again another type of uh, plug and these plugs are very easy to make once you know how to make them um, I'm expecting to make a whole bunch uh, for my personal projects and workflows um, and uh, as you can see they don't have to be hard surface plugs they can be organic um, so as you can see there's the normals aren't quite resolving very well on this one because of the where it's placed so I'm just adjusting the geometry a bit and you know ideally uh, you, you you probably have to spend a little bit more time uh, problematic plugs like this or problematic positions so uh, I, I'm not getting this one exactly resolved here but just for the purpose of this video I'm not wasting too much time on it um, so at this point I'm just going to add some different materials um, to this tentacle 
just to do a quick render for the video thumbnail. So I'm just selecting the plugs and giving them another material basically. And now I'm just gonna do a, a quick pose and set up a little background geometry and um, set up a camera and some lights. to create two tentacles and set the depth of field a bit and then I'm just gonna do a quick render so these meshes are not subdivided um, I probably could subdivide these without a problem but it doesn't seem like it's necessary and then I'm just doing a quick render um, as you can see so mostly the add-on is used for hard surface but as you can see, it works also perfectly well for organic stuff. All right, so that's uh, my quick setup um, for doing some organic fun stuff with uh, utilizing mesh machine uh, it's non subdiff so uh, obviously it's mainly used for hard surface stuff but as you can see you can use it for organic stuff as well uh, the plugs are really cool once you get used to them I suggest that you build your own plugs because then you can really understand how you know how to best utilize them and what are what all the possible use cases for them are the the plug library that comes with the, the add-on is great as well there's lots of stuff in there but i definitely recommend going through the process of making your own plugs and i'm really looking forward to future updates for this add-on i think it 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 has a lot of great tools and um, it'll really help develop interesting pipelines and and setups all right i hope this video was useful for uh, all of you and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, uh, otherwise I'll see you guys later. Bye.